Sagittarius. This is your bonus reading for October 2022. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for October 2022. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for October 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of sagittarius for october 2022 in love show me you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals if you're interested in a private reading you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com so sagittarius this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Sag, this is you. This is your partner. So, Sag, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For October 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Sag, is the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So listen, Sag, could be dealing with a Pisces, but someone here can tell me that they're in the dark concerning something. Someone can tell me that they're using their intuition or there's a secret clarify the moon for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest, whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your heart your bank account looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest could be waiting on money so sag listen could be waiting could be waiting on money looking at your coins looking at your bank account or someone's waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship you know sag it very well could be that someone's using their intuition that they need to wait you know someone may feel like hey how long do i have to wait it's an element of the unknown here sag you know it very well could be something going on or someone being left in the dark concerning coins here, okay? Or keeping something a secret concerning coins. Sag can tell me that some type of secret came out and someone is asking themselves whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Sag, you have the Knight of Cups. You have the King of Pentacles. You have the Four of Wands, Sag. Your partner has the Ace of Pentacles. Your partner has the Emperor. And your partner has the King of Cups. Hmm. <laughs> listen. Okay, so Sag, listen. I'm uh, Listen, you just don't, you know, don't pay me any attention. Sag, listen, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is someone could be using the intuition that maybe they need to wait. Someone may be waiting, but they don't know how long they have to wait, an element of the unknown here. It very well could be, you know, someone is finding out something or was left in the dark or some type of secret concerning coins here. 
Sag could also be that some type of secret came out and someone is asking themselves whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship or just using their intuition on whether or not they should. Sag, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Sagittarius. It is clarified with the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Sag could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. You know, with the King of Cups, this is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So listen, Sag, you can tell me that something is off balance here something could be off balance with the giving and receiving you may be giving something here receiving something here are you telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else giving to two so sag listen you can tell me that hey you know maybe you're trying to master your emotions maybe you're using your intuition because this person could be coming in with an apology a romantic gesture maybe some type of token of love wanting to give you something here you can tell me that hey you have a great deal of love for this person you want to go in and give them something with some type of romantic gesture here could also be that someone's coming in to apologize and maybe trying to make things right here with someone. Could also be that someone's coming in to apologize because they were giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Sad, you have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Sag could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, I'm, I'm laughing because, you know, here lately when I do your read, it's always you, earth, and water, okay? He, me, and she. He, me, and she, or me, he, and he. The other, listen, clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Still going on, child. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Sag, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now Sag, is this person here, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with, are they being deceptive or are you sneaking around with this person? Sag. Hmm. Sag. You have the four of wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Sag, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property here. Clarify the four of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the four of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the four of wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Sag could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. Clarify the fool for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Sag, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now Sag, you can tell me that there was a third party and you guys has already established commitment or stability here. Someone took some type of risk or a chance were deceptive with this third party, giving more somewhere else, giving to two. However, Sag, are you ready to take this leap of faith to have just cause to celebrate going into some type of commitment? Hmm. Hmm, Sag. We'll see. Maybe you're using your intuition here, Sag, on whether or not to do it. Listen, Sag, your partner has the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings for your partner. So Sag, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment here. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. So some type of opportunity or practicality here for your partner, Sag, or commitments. Hmm. Hmm. Sag, your partner has the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the Emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Sag, could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the emperor for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings news of it here okay so some type of news about practicality money assets resources property accepting a gift giving a gift going out on a date or commitment some type of news here 
Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. But the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So listen, Sag, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your partner's abundance. But it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Empress for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. First of all, the emperor and the empress this is coupling up here. So Sag, listen, your partner could tell me that they're getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. Your partner could tell me that something is being brought to their attention. They're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Now Sag, your partner could tell me, yes, you guys have the stability and commitment, but something is being brought to their attention. Is it that they there's some type of deception, some type of third party, someone giving more, somewhere else giving to two. However, Sag, your partner could tell me that there's some type of news about practicality or commitment here. Someone could be making an announcement and it could be about commitment here having just cause to celebrate. But it could also be both happening. Some type of deception has taken place here. Yet someone is wanting to come in with some type of an announcement, trying to jump high to get your mind off of this deception. Sag, listen, your partner has the King of Cups. Uh, yeah, the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Sag, listen, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is your partner feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that is spilled out, all the effort and energy that was spilled out, all the love that was spilled out. This is your partner mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Sag, listen, your partner can tell me that they're hurt, they're mourning, they're disappointed, yes. However, they can tell me that they're feeling remorse and regret for the part that they played. Now Sag, your partner can tell me that they're hurt and they're mourning and they're masking their emotions and not letting you see them sweat. However, Sag, your partner can tell me, you know what, they have a great deal of love for you and they're feeling remorse and regret here. Ah, <sighs> Sag. What was brought to your partner's attention here? Were you being deceptive with someone, Sag? And are you trying to come in to give them something, trying to apologize and maybe jump high here, but they're hurt? Listen, Sag, I feel like maybe some type of secret came out here and your partner's waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest and reinvest in this relationship because they're hurt. It's like you're trying to make up here. Here you are trying to give them something to make up for some type of deception. Who were you deceptive with, Sag? He, me, and she? He, me, and you. Listen, Sag, this is your bonus reading for October 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.